Today we look upon the left in order to understand the right. I will use the information relating to the powers of the moon and night and give you the mythological components that align with what is being said. Remember, fiction is a gateway where one can openly say what they really mean. The Mark of Spectre A spectre is a ghost, phantom, apparition, spirit, wraith, shadow or presence, something widely feared, an unpleasant or dangerous occurrence. The name tells us more than we care to know. On more than one occasion, Mark Spector has died and then been resurrected by the other dimensional entity, Kon Shu. It is not known if Kon Shu will continually do this, making Mark Spector effectively immortal or if he will only do this until he chooses a new champion. That would be immortality with a price. A kind of prison where the possessing force is a kind of gatekeeper. Due to his brain being altered by Kon Shu, Mark Spector is more resistant to telepathic and psychic attack than the average person. He sometimes experiences visions of prophecy or enhanced insight. Some initially believed these visions were delusions or inspired simply by Spectre, inadvertently performing self-hypnosis. But it is now known that Kon Shu is real and grants him these visions. The villain for hire has a superhuman analysis ability that does not function properly on beings with supernatural, magic-based abilities, and remarked that he found it painful to look upon Mark Spector whenever the hero donned his Moon Knight costume. Profile wasn't sure if this was due to Mark Spector's mental illness or if wearing the costume helped Moon Knight tap directly into the Moon God's power. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, rapping at my chamber door. Poetry is the rapping that gives the Moon Knight power. Ghastly Grim and Ancient Raven Wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quoth the raven, nothing more. We also have elements of the Shesmu worship, who is a protector of Ra in the underworld. Shesmu being the precursor to Tehut. Is there any difference between Mark Spector, Konshu, and the Birdman? Is there any difference between Hermes, Enoch, and Tehut? Is he not thrice great?
knives are given to the Egyptian dead to protect themselves against demons in the underworld. During the time that Moon Knight adopted golden and ivory weapons, symbolizing his status as the Fist of Khonshu. For the children that will be Knuckles, Tails and Sonic. His strength, endurance and reflexes would increase depending on the phase of the moon, almost as if he is a wolf in disguise operating on a superhuman level during a full moon night. Ow. Even during a new moon, he can lift several hundred pounds, although some believed this superhuman strength had nothing to do with Konshu and was the result of self-hypnosis. Although it is now known that Konshu is real and is directly connected to Mark Spector. Konshu later removed this power from Moon Knight as a punishment for disobedience and has never returned it. After the Serpent War, Mark's patron deity, Konshu, opted to further empower his champion on Earth with all new abilities in preparation for the rise of Mephistopheles. Moon Knight is the left hand, therefore Mephistopheles would be the right. Shesmu worship divided the body but he also cannibalized other gods, assuming their roles and powers. Forgive me if I am wrong, but wouldn't that be the lion's share? Konshu empowered his champion by giving his herald the lion's share of the moon supremacy's power. Mark would be endowed with all the abilities of his namesake, as the Fist of Konshu, along with a couple of others outside the criteria. He is granted the transformational capability to change to and from his costumed identity at will. And if there are angels, and there are, they exist. Some of these angels were cast down, and a few of the fallen were punished by being deprived of form. They can only survive in the bodies of others. It's inside of us, inside of human beings, their vengeance is played out. On top of powers over lunar effects, such as creating astral rock formations, consisting of planetary orbital satellites, Raising and commanding the dead, referring to the rapping mummies, rapping at my chamber door. The mummy, loyal to his divinity. The powers created by Konshu's will. Lunar empowerment under the super moon. And the ability to survive unaided in the cold recesses of space without life support. These powers gave Moon Knight enough raw might to battle and defeat the world's most powerful heroes, the Avengers. You've got to be kidding. For a brief time, Moon Knight became a host avatar for the immortal Phoenix Force the cosmological raptor that governs life, death, and rebirth throughout the universe, and potentially the multiverse, possessing all of the typical skills and abilities of an avatar to the cosmic entity. 
regarding cosmic pyrokinesis, telekinesis, and flight, etc. But wait, I'm not finished. Con Shu, also spelled Cons. Cons, probably Con. In ancient Egyptian religion, moon god, who was generally depicted as a youth, named Kenzu, is known from the pyramid texts, and is possibly the same as Konsu. As I've said before, Su, Shu, and Zu are cognate. Although Konsu was firmly associated with Amun and Mot at Thebes. At Kom Ombo, Konsu was considered the son of Sobek and Hathor. And in Edfu, Konsu was linked with Osiris as the son of the leg, referring to a relic of that netherworld god, said to be preserved in that temple. The ancient mystery subscribers know exactly who that is. The truth is stranger than fiction. <laughs>